Hi guys, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to stream or record in HDR with the new version of OBS 28. Uh, pretty cool version. They added also tone mapping. Uh, that's a pretty cool feature. For example, when you're playing an HDR game but you're streaming on Twitch, Twitch it's not compatible right now with HDR. You have a tone mapping that will help a lot for your color, for your viewer. Uh, and it's a lot better than your capture card. I did a, a couple of comparisons between my Elgato capture cards and OBS. And OBS is very good, honestly, for the tone mapping. So first of all, first option, you need to go to setting, go to advanced. Your color format uh, needs to be at P010, 10, 10 bits over there. And also you need to change your color space to Rec 2100 PQ. After that, in the output, I know a lot of people is recording or even streaming with their video card. You will need to select the encoder with the H265. So for Radian, this is uh, this one. If you have an NVIDIA NVEC, you will see NVEC H265. So important to select that. Uh, this is the way that you can record in HDR with the encoder. So press OK. When you did that, now you did your encoder, you did the setting of OBS. Now you will need to tell your source that there needs to be an HDR. So for example, in my game scene, I have a game capture. You need to make sure that you're using the Rec 2100 PQ when you want to capture your game and record it in HDR. If you have a capture card, example, the Elgato X over there, go down, make sure that your color space also will be at Rec 2100 PQ. So super important to do that um, to make sure that it's compatible. You would need to do that for all the source that you want to capture or stream in HDR. Uh, it's pretty important because it will not work if you don't do that. So this is pretty much it. After that, again, you're getting a nice tone mapper. Uh, also in this update, if you have a Radian card, they did an update for the encoder. Uh, AMD released a new encoder um, like code in March this year. OBS did an update. I did a couple of tests. You're getting like 10 to 15% image quality increase with the same bitrate. Super important to use the Max B frame one. This seems to be the best for AMD. And this is pretty much it. If you have any question about how to use HDR record or stream, uh, just you post me a question in the YouTube section. Super important right now. Twitch is not compatible with streaming in HDR. You need to do it on YouTube. Uh, YouTube also is compatible to uh, recording in HDR. So if you're posting a video in HDR, it will work. And probably next year, uh, I'm pretty sure Twitch and YouTube will update their, the way that uh, they handle video with AV1, the same encoding from uh, Netflix. And it's a lot better for your quality, for the bitrate rate that, will, that will, you will provide. And also it's compatible with HDR. So this is pretty much it, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.